talked a lot about uh, wheelchairs and types of wheelchairs, but we've never spoken about types of wheelchair users. And you would think that there's only one. You would think that it's all from people who cannot walk. And uh, it's so far from the truth. Uh, there are a variety of wheelchair users. Uh, we have a type called the ambulatory wheelchair users, uh, such as myself. Um, I can walk short distances with my walker, and then I take breaks, and I stay in my wheelchair. So I walk as much as my pain allows me, and then I take breaks and rest in my wheelchair. So that's one type of uh, wheelchair user. The other type are people who can stand up and pivot and get to a chair or get to their bed, uh, but they really cannot walk, per se. So it's only to stand up, turn around, and, and sit down somewhere else. So um, those are just people who can pivot <laughs> and use the wheelchair for the rest of their um, activities. And then there's a type of wheelchair user that we all know, and those are the people who have extreme um, spinal cord injuries or um, just a spine that just collapsed and the uh, spinal cord is being pressured and so they are no longer able to, to move their, their legs. So that is the type that most of us know, um, or you know, people with serious, serious disease, and um, they have lost their range of motion in, in their legs, and they use the, the wheelchair permanently. So those are the types of, uh, that is the main type of wheelchair user that we know, um, but some people make the mistake and think that <laughs> but some people make the mistake thinking that um, there's only one type of wheelchair user and, and the wheelchair is only for those who cannot walk at all. And that's not true. The wheelchair user, uh, the wheelchair person or the person who uses a wheelchair has been given a wheelchair for therapeutic reasons to take a break and recover from something. Um, like myself, that the wheelchair is a therapeutic tool so I can use it and take breaks before the pain gets out of control. <laughs> so I use it especially when I go out. When I go out, just wheelchair permanently. But inside, I can use my walker, you know, short distances. Um, and uh, the rest of the time, I use a wheelchair. Um, for those who... Uh, who have to use the wheelchair full time, that is, um, they get a specialized wheelchair because they have to change positions and stuff because of the circulation, because of pain, because of spasming. So that is, uh, they get a wheelchair called a complex power wheelchair. And so they can uh, change position and, and be more comfortable. Um, that's why I have a medical bed back there. It's kind of similar. I can change positions and get in a position that is uh, that gives me the opportunity to be able to sleep and uh, reduce pain. Mm. The rest, the medication has to do it. <laughs> so, um, so this is uh, this is important information to spread around that there's not just one wheelchair or type of wheelchair user there's a variety and so we need to be respectful for those who are in wheelchairs that you might see someone using a wheelchair and then in the grocery store they might stand up because they need to reach something uh, so it doesn't mean they're faking it it just means that they have very limited walking abilities and they use the wheelchair when they're outdoors and out of the home and they can stand up uh, some. And if you see someone who uh, stands up or pushes themselves up 
from the wheelchair with their arms. It's because they're trying to get a better position and feel more comfortable. It doesn't mean that they are liars and fakers um, because we, we think that uh, they are faking it. They are lying. So they are not. Uh, and same thing for those who stand up during the time that they are using the wheelchair. They stand up to reach something. They stand up to adjust their clothing, etc. So it doesn't mean that they are lying. It just means that they uh, have the ability to stand briefly or have the ability to walk briefly and the rest of the time they stay in their wheelchair. So um, this is something that people or the, the general society doesn't know. And I think it's important to uh, talk about that and just let you know that there are people who are ambulatory wheelchair users. Um, there are uh, you know, people who use wheelchairs who can partially stand up and pivot. Uh, and there are people who permanently are in wheelchairs. So there's a variety of, of abilities and uh, of people who, who need the wheelchair for a variety of reasons. So it's not just for those who cannot walk at all. So I think it's important to share this, share it with your family or share it with uh, a school or share it with you know, a variety of, of groups, companies, uh, agencies, so that they know that there are uh, a variety, <laughs> a variety of disabilities. And, and that's important to know. I mean, I'm glad I can stand up, walk, you know, and I walk as much as I can. In the evenings, you know, I do exercises and, and I try to walk as much as I can and then I come back and I, and I rest. Because in that way, I can preserve what I have left of being able to walk, and who knows when or how long I'll be able to do that, but I am uh, lucky to have a wheelchair that gives me breaks in between. So that's what I wanted to bring up today um, because it's, it's knowledge that hasn't spread. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, but it's knowledge that has not spread, and um, it's important for society to know that because sometimes, you know, people will be confronted if, if they're seen moving their legs because a lot of wheelchair users can't move their legs. They just can't walk. And there are people who can stand and walk short distances, uh, but they need the wheelchair. So, you know... It's similar to grandma, you know, she can walk around the house, but when she leaves the house, um, grandma needs a wheelchair. So all of you know that grandma can walk in the home, you know, with her cane or with her walker, but when she goes out, you know, she gets tired very quickly and it's hard for her to walk, so she uses a wheelchair. So it's that kind of thing. It's just the ages vary uh, throughout the spectrum of who uses a wheelchair and the reason why. So it's inappropriate to say, hey, why are you using a wheelchair? Or you're faking, you're lying. It's very inappropriate. And if you see uh, a person in a wheelchair struggling to reach something high on a shelf in a store, offer to help. <laughs> Don't let them struggle. Just go and offer to help if they need to reach something in a, in a high shelf. So. <coughs> Sometimes they are embarrassed to ask for help, so then they try uh, themselves, and sometimes they can hurt themselves. So, but anytime I see something that's, that's on a high shelf, I have to look for somebody to help me because I have difficulty handling the footrest in my wheelchair, so I don't want to be struggling and then hurt myself and all that story while I'm out of the home. <laughs> so. So there are prudent things that I need to do in other people in wheelchairs as well. So, so that is the story of the difference between uh, a full-time wheelchair user versus an ambulatory wheelchair user and a partial or pivoting person who uses a wheelchair full-time. So, you know, 
ask your doctor or uh, look it up on the internet as well. I mean, this is this is this is me uh, using my knowledge and what I know of wheelchair users, but there's a lot more information uh, on the internet, and I will try to find a good page on that and post a link so you can read more about this. So the next time you see someone who's in a wheelchair and gets up, <laughs> don't be shocked. <laughs> This is a person who struggles to walk but uses a wheelchair, so not a big deal. It's been happening for decades. <laughs> and your grandmother has been using a wheelchair when she goes out. So, <laughs> so I just wanted to share that information. I think it's important, and this is a video that it's important to share it with others so that we can spread the information, and then it's not a shock. Uh, to people who see somebody get up to reach something or um, change from a wheelchair to a walker. You know, it, it shouldn't be a shock to anyone. At this point, in, 19, in 2024, <laughs> we should all have this information. Somehow we don't. So let's help and, and spread this video so we can be more educated and of service and supportive to wheelchair users. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming and for spending a few moments with me. Uh, feel free, if you'd like to help the channel, the best thing you can do is to like, comment, share. Those things are awesome. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do that, too, as long as you, you know, feel like this channel is going to be helpful for you in, in other areas. So feel free to subscribe. Everything is free. So uh, feel free to, to hang out with me <laughs> in these different videos about uh, wheelchairs and wheelchair users. So take care, and I certainly will see you in the next one.